Accessories in WYSIWYG uh, can be quite complicated. It adds quite a lot of uh, additional parameters that need to be checked. And often if there's a mistake, it's usually a, a contradiction in the patch in an accessory. Uh, maybe something changes universe and you change the universe of the light and not the accessory to follow it. So there's lots of things to be checking and to update. Um, this is actually quite a good show to be explaining accessories because we have quite a few. Uh, today, uh, today's 2020, well, you know, middle of the virus epidemic, whatever you want to call it, the pandemic. Um, we have a lot more LED lights now, so the accessories tend to be built in. Um, when we were doing this show, we had a lot of tungsten lamps with scrollers. This is back in 2011. Uh, scrollers need to have a, a separate patch and, uh, and scroller strings built for them. Uh, we also had C changes built into Source 4s, which were a CMY color mixer, um, and GoBo rotators and other sort of uh, digital accessories, as well as all the normal accessories, color frames, GoBos. So we're going to have a look at placing a lot of these, see how it all works, and, um, and try to figure out how to, how to patch it all correctly. Well, it's lesson 25, and we're going to look at how we can add accessories. So um, first of all, if I'm in a right, you know, blank space here, um, I haven't got an option to add an accessory. But if I select a light, so let's choose my source or par, I can now go right click and add accessory and it brings up a window. Uh, this window will only let you choose things that are available to the light type. So for instance, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a par, it's a source or par, so I shouldn't be able to choose an iris. No, I can't find an iris for it because it's not, um, no use to a, a par lamp. Um, I can, however, choose a scroller. Just have a look. So I have some generic scrollers, 4 inch, 10 inch, 15 inch. I have um, some Pacific models. Uh, I had on this production Broadway scrollers by Chroma Q. So there we are, Chroma Q Broadway scroller. So I'm going to choose insert and it's added it. There we go. Now if you go into the properties menu, we will see under the, the lamp, we'll see also an option for the scroller itself. So we can select this and we can make some changes in here. Scroller, we can address it. Give it yeah, universe and address. Scroll. Uh, we can come to, let's keep saying, in lesson uh, 28. I'm really building up this lesson. It's going to be very exciting. We're going to look at how we can build custom scroll strings. Um, if it had a lamp, we can change it. For some reason, if you click on this plus sign, it will also show you exactly the same information, but it demonstrates it's coming out of um, that fixture. So you can select the fixture, you can select the, the accessory. And I guess the idea for this is that if you have a fixture of lots of accessories, they'll all start to, to populate here. Um, so you can find them easily. The way I also work is using the accessories tool in the quick tab here. Um, I would right click, new accessory. Uh, I'll look, I've still got it selected from before, so I'm just gonna click there, insert, and it's just appeared there as an accessory. I'm also gonna add, an iris and now because I'm being generic there is no uh, it, specific fixtures that I'm looking for it should give me a whole range of things so in this case I had a manual iris which we can edit later and I'm going to add a sea changer insert so yeah it's a CMY color mixer which we'll add later so I'm going to demonstrate the manual iris. I'm going to select this. Oh, that's because I still got this fixture selected. See, why don't we do it? Um, if I just select it, manual iris, it now gives me an option. Cannot mount accessory there, move over a fixture. So I'm moving over my source form. And now it lets me add an iris. Let's put a little circle there to denote an iris. So I'm going to add it to all of my source force here because these were doing some nice spotty things. It does a nice little ding as well, which you'll get used to as we start patching as well. It's a annoying sound, but it's just confirms that you're doing something right. So I'm also going to add my scrollers. Okay, keyboard by scroller. I'm just going to go along and click on all of these. Um, now, if that's frustrating, what you can also do is select all of them. Uh, and I'm going to select these ones up here as well. And we should be able to do it on mass. I say should. I haven't checked this actually before I did this lesson, but my memory is that you can do this. So if I'm going to go to scroller again, uh, Chroma Cube Broadway scroller, insert, there we go. All of them are taking a scroller now. The reason I didn't go right click, uh, select fixtures by type and all the pars, when I did that, is that it will just select the ones I've already done. And it is possible, even though I don't know if one does this in real life, but it's possible to add two scrollers to a, to a fixture. Um, 
it kind of assumes that you might want to do that. Uh, but see, this is the reason why you would have been useful to do it in the first place is that I've missed some. So let's go and select these ones as well. And then right click, um, add accessory, going through board by scroller and insert. Uh, in truth, I think we had the scrollers on the sides here because I've got a scroller symbol, but we'll come to that in a minute. Um, so yes, yeah, so that's how we add an accessory. Um, I just wanted to show you as well just how we can edit something that's a, uh, like a digital accessory. So I've already shown you a scroller, but let me show you what would happen if we added a motorized iris. If I go add accessory to this. DMX iris. Actually, oh, source of manual iris. Maybe I should have used that. DMX iris anyway, that's what we can look for at the moment. So now it's added two irises. So we'll see if we go into properties. We didn't have DMX irises on this, but it might demonstrate the point. We've got the manual iris and we've got the DMX iris. So the DMX iris, we can change the patch in here. And the manual iris, you can edit manually like this. Now if we click on source four, we can go to cuts. We can actually see how this is going to look. Uh, now we can't see anything at the moment because there's no scenery, but you'd see in there what the look of the um, uh, what, what 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 you actually see if you had a, a camera inside the light. So if I go to manual iris, hmm, some lights let you see it through that. But yeah, sometimes if you add like a barn door, you can see it in that. Let me just demonstrate. So if we go to the par lamp with our scroller on, go far properties. Um, point of view we can't make easy changes we can we can adjust the pan and tilt by adding numbers but we lost that really cool tool if we go back to the source 4 this is a really useful tool for um, for focusing which we'll come to later go to cuts and we can just nudge instead and then we can move our cuts in and out like this um, it'd be easy to see when you've got some scenery on but that's this ability to nudge is really useful but it's only available if you had shutter cuts or barn doors so what I sometimes do is um, it's going to work on a source of power do I have any for nails uh, I will do it I'll do it on a source of power this may not work I'll add an accessory and I'll add barn doors no it's not going to let me do it to par it assumes you're not going to want to put barn doors in a par which isn't true I have seen it done let's take the Fresnel lamp instead. So if I go right click properties, you will see this is a 743. Um, point of view doesn't have the nudging option. You have to type it in manually. If I selected all of my 743s and went add accessory, I can now add a barn door. You better let me. There we go. 10 inch barn door. There's a motorized barn door if you were looking for one of those. Uh, barn door's now been added. I don't have to bring them in. But now if I go back to my properties menu and I go to 10 inch barn doors and now I have a cut option and now I can focus my lamp using this. I don't have to bring the barn doors in. This alone is worth adding barn doors to all of your lights just to get this option. Um, because if you go to the point of view, you don't have that option. So that's where accessories can be quite useful. Um, that's all we can do on this lesson. Uh, I want to really keep this quick um, so you can just dive in and out of special lessons if this is relevant to you. But in the next lesson, uh, lesson 26, we're going to look at how we use a quick tools menu, which we can use to add accessories in a different way. We can also use it to patch in a different way. And this is actually the method that I use to patch um, and channel up all my lights um, rather than right clicking and going to properties. So this is a really useful tool um, to, uh, to speed up your workflow.